Well, we begin today talking about the Special Olympics of Idaho. You know, team sports, they bring people together, and Special Olympics Unified Sports starts the foundation for that and so much more. We have a few guests with us today to talk about how they are teaming up with College of Idaho Basketball. We have Janice Beal, Unified Champion Schools Director for Special Olympics Idaho, Ricky Stevens, Special Olympics Idaho basketball player, for 17 years and also a Special Olympics athlete for 26 years, along with Dougie Peoples, College of Idaho's men's basketball team, sophomore and shooting guard. Welcome to all of you. We're so excited to have you here in studio. Um, first explain though for us, Janice, what is Unified Sports? Yeah, Unified Sports is where those with and without intellectual disabilities are participating together and competing together on the same team. Um, so we're super excited to partner with the College of Idaho men's basketball um, for a unified basketball game September 9th um, and with that like each team on the court will have three Special Olympic athletes and two yotes on each team at the same time so you know they're they're playing together and competing and you know we haven't uh, set teams up yet so uh, Ricky and Dougie that we don't know if they're gonna be teammates <laughs> right. or okay. if they're gonna be competitors but it's it's been a lot of fun just getting a chance to to get all the guys together and we've had a chance to go to top golf and we did some bowling activities but really just doing some things off the court but I know they're super excited to be uh, on the court and stuff I love that so right now you guys have been focusing on kind of the bonding opportunity and today at least on the couch these two are on the same team for now right <laughs> yeah uh, all right and then Dougie too, tell us you know what has been the most exciting thing that has happened happened thus far in the unified sports program yeah Janice mentioned how we've done a bunch of really cool events but I think the um, the biggest thing for me was just getting to know all of them and creating relationships with them and just getting to know them as people and also athletes and understanding how um, talented they are um, in the athletic world um, and bowling last night Ricky was killing all of us <laughs> <laughs> that <was fun>. awesome. <laughs> and Ricky I would love to hear from you too um, do you have any like favorite moment or something exciting that has happened uh, so far this year well I make some new friends um, I get to know them and then my favorite part is playing play basketball is to play basketball. <laughs> yep. What position do you like to play? Um, I like to play defense. Oh, you like to play defense? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're your tough guy out there on the court. <laughs> yep. Very nice. And then like uh, Dougie said yesterday, you were, uh, you were killing it at uh, bowling. So from what I understand, you're a very talented athlete. Yeah, and you even have a medal around your neck. What's this from? Uh, this for, um, I won several. Mm -hmm. um, and basketball. Silver and basketball. All right, so this is your sport. You love basketball. So I can imagine you are looking so forward to this opportunity to be playing with the Yotes yep. out there here really soon. And Janice, um, you know, how can people get more information about the program? And then obviously our big goal here today is to get people out to watch Ricky and Dougie and all their teammates hitting the court, playing some good ball. So tell us about that. Yeah, we'll put more information on um, our website, um, specialolympicsidaho.org, as we get closer. Um, we'll also put more stuff out on our social media. Okay. Um, but it'll be September 9th at College of Idaho. Um, I know the guys will be super excited to have people out there and uh, cheering them on um, for our unified game. Excellent. So this comes up in September. So right now there's this process of kind of bonding, becoming teammates, if you will, right? Mm -hmm. Which is incredibly important. Um, and then are they going to be doing like practices too in the meantime leading up to the big day? Yeah, we've got a, we've kind of done an activity like once a month for the last okay. few months. Um, so we've got another one pl uh, planned for July, just kind of getting together in the park, doing some games. Um, and then, you know, when we get to August, once all of the, the College of Idaho men are back from summer break, um, we'll get a couple practices in and one, but at that point we'll have the teams divided so they can practice with their teammates and uh, then uh, prep and get ready for the big game in September. So. Excellent. And Jess, I want to know what do you love so much about this program and this opportunity? Um, I think the biggest thing is just what sports does. You know, yeah. like they said, the relationship piece and getting a chance to see these guys off the basketball court, um, just interacting. Um, you know, it's such a, a fun time and it's just sports brings so many things to people's lives, um, positives from those relationships. Yeah. And, and that's what unified sports is all about. Yeah, well, and sports kind of a play on words here, but is also the ultimate unifier, mm -hmm. right? It it's brings people together. That's one reason why we're so excited about this opportunity, about the Special Olympic Games when they happen here in our state. 
and also about the Olympics coming up <laughs> on NBC, right? Like we all cannot wait to see people, uh, you know, raising the bar and just uh, showing their abilities and all coming together just under a unified sport, which is just super exciting. Do you agree as well, Ricky? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. I do too. All right, <laughs> so where can people go so they can learn more about the amazing program and then also to get the date of that game on their calendar? Yep, that'll be on our website at specialolympicsidaho.org. Wonderful. All three of you, thank you so much. And also, I have to point out the fact, too, that if uh, you unfortunately are not able to attend the event, you, though, still can lean in and support the Special Olympics Idaho with a chance to win a 2024 Toyota Tundra 4x4 LTD Crew Max Cab. You can donate, so just make sure you go to that website right there at the bottom of the screen. Everyone stick around. We have a lot more to come right here on Idaho Today right after the break.